Ron Brown again with your Being Truly Well Minutes for today. And uh, today I want to talk about something exceptionally important. And that's being idle and not being idle. And, uh, you know, whether you're religious or not, in the Old Testament, uh, David said in the Psalms, Be still and know that I am God. In Eastern religions, they teach the importance of looking within, getting in touch with the true self, with the Zen-like state. Uh, some people meditate to reach nirvana. Others, they find solace in communication with God, in whatever form you choose God to be. But what I'd like to say to you is, there are two types of being idle. The kind that are a form of getting in touch with the true self what I call the embryonic truth, which is engraved upon all of us before we took our first breath. Now, that could have some religious overtones for you, or it could be that uh, you just believe that the universe encodes us. Whatever it is for you, I believe that we all have a life's passion and a life's mission. The only way we can get in touch with that is to shut up, to be quiet, to empty our minds of the attention things that all day long hoard our thoughts. Yeah, that hoards up there. We stow things in there. All the worries, anxieties, all the fears, all the voices of our past. And again, the whispers exercise. Hopefully by now you've gone through that and freed yourself of all those past whispers that are upon you. But you could just have attention getters that are there. Think about that for a minute. You're sitting there, and all of a sudden, it comes to you out of nowhere. Oh, I should be doing this. I should be doing that. Where does that come from? Where does that come from? Sometimes it's just, you know, static noise, distracting us from what's really important. But sometimes it's truly the universe speaking to us from within. And the only way we can truly listen is to get quiet. Some people call it prayer. Some people call it meditation. I like to call it opening your mind to universal truth in the embryonic halls. And when you're in tune with it, some people say you get a vibration of being in the flow. And I consider it the sounds of universal angels when we are aligned with truth. And sometimes people that are very important to us can whisper things to us that are positive, guiding us. Hey, you know, you should really try this. Or, hey, have you heard about this? And you get a little feeling about it. Go, hmm, that's very interesting to me. I think that might be something I should check out. But then you let it go. Try taking time being idle. Think about it. Picture yourself doing whatever it is that you heard about that seemed interesting. Maybe drive to a place where you could see whatever it is. Maybe try a day in the life. Someone said, hey, you know, you'd probably do really great doing this. Have you ever thought about that? And you say, eh, no, not really. But then you think about it and you go, that might be interesting. So go volunteer there for a day. If it's working with people, go find an old folks home. Visit them. Say, hi, I just wanted to stop by and see how you are. Sit down with them and talk. See how it feels in your spirit. You'll find your way if you take the time to be idle with yourself. But don't be the wrong kind of idol. No, not a rock star like Billy Idol. Yeah! But instead, I'm talking about don't be the kind of idol that sits still. And knowing that you need to take action, you don't. I've heard Oprah say more than once that the walls will come crashing down upon you. And uh, I've been there. So I'm pretty much there now. But you know what? I know that the universe is calling me. Do you ever hear about skiers that wear those little beacons and all of a sudden avalanche buries them in the snow ten feet deep? And all of a sudden that little beacon just sounds out. Beep. 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 And what happens? They find them in the snow, hopefully in time. But that little beacon does its job. The key is that the rescuers, in this case yourself, need to be in tune to that inner beep, to know where to dig, to know where to find, 
and how to rescue and bring to life again what was lost. So that's our Being Truly Well moment for today. I'd like to extend my condolences to the family of Joe Frazier, the truly great boxer who found out he had cancer a couple weeks ago, was put in a hospice, and sadly died today. And, you know, it saddens me, because I think life is truly precious. He had a truly remarkable life. An amazing man. He gave back to his community in Philadelphia. He gave back to fellow boxers and inspired young people everywhere. And you know what? We don't know when our last moment will be on Earth. The minute nor the hour is not known to us. We could step outside, get hit by a bus. We could sit in the bathtub and fall and trying to get out. You never know. Or you could just have a heart attack one day. But whatever it is, I want you to know, don't live a life that when you look back on it is one of regret. So that's our being truly well moment for the day. I know it's kind of deep kind of hard to swallow. So remember, the good kind of idol is when you listen. So get out your shovel, start digging yourself out, and listen to that beep, because your avalanche has fallen, whether you believe it or not. And you might be covered in a pure white snow, and it might seem bright to you, but you're still stuck, unless you truly start the rescue. It's Ron Brown for Being Truly Well Minutes. 